the separation of talent and skill is one of the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who have dreams that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. There's no easy way around it. No matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled. If you don't work really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day. See, whatever you're doing, however you spend your time, that tells you who you are. So think about what it is you like to create in your life experience. Once I look at how you commit your time, once I do an evaluation on how you spend your time, I can tell you exactly what you're committed to. How much time do you spend working on you? How much time do you spend every day working on your dream? In the last 90 days, how many books have you read? In the last year, what new skill or knowledge have you acquired? What kind of investment have you made in you? A lot of people, as soon as they punch out, they rush home to sit on the couch. They rush home to do nothing. They rush home just to, to sit there and figure out, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep, do it all tomorrow. All the successful people have the exact same amount of time that you have each day. So what did they do that you may not be doing? They invested in themselves on the weekends, after work, in the evening, they put time in something that they wanted to do. They invested their own time in themselves. So, in conclusion, when I was younger, I thought success uh, was something different. I thought, when I grow up, I want to be famous. But my idea of success is different today, and as you grow, you'll realize the definition of success changes. For me, the most important thing in your life is to live your life with integrity, and not to give in to peer pressure to try to be something that you're not. To live your life as an honest and compassionate person, to contribute in some way. Follow your passion, stay true to yourself, never follow someone else's path unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, then by all means you should follow that. I want my life, I want my, my work, uh, my, my family, I want it to mean something. And it's like, it has, if, if you are not making someone else's life better, then you're wasting your time. You know, like the, the, your life will become better by making other lives better. So what is he doing now? He's down on one knee, handing her flowers. She doesn't want flowers. She wants a ring. That's what he's afraid of. <laughs> wait a minute. She just threw all the flowers in the ground and stormed off. 
She wants a ring. He's going after her. Forget it, kid. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, if it wasn't for you telling me what's going on in that park, I don't know what I'd do. I enjoy it. You made me realize that there's plenty to enjoy without having to see it. Thanks. Ah, uh, forget about it. Eat your lunch. Only one tray? He didn't make it. Nurse, will you do me a favor, please? Would you take a look down at that park and tell me what you see? Mr. Johnson, there's nothing outside this window but a brick wall. <laughs> How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? That's all you have to figure out. As someone who's done what you're about to go and do, I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. I'm trying to find a balance. I'm trying to build a balance. Trying to find a balance, I'm trying to build a balance. I gotta find my balance. I gotta find my balance. So I just want to share a quote that I've been thinking about lately, and the quote is success at the speed of balance. So health, relationships, career, personal growth and happiness. Those are the five things that I track every day. So each day I make a journal entry in my journal and I list, you know, health. What did I do today? Did I grow in health today? Did I grow in relationships? You know, who did I talk to? In what ways did I grow my relationships with others? And career, obviously, what did I do to move forward today? Personal growth is usually I make note of whether I meditated, did morning pages, or read a book. And I try to do those things every day so that I make sure that I'm always growing. And happiness, I keep track of my happiness level each and every day. And that's the area where I kind of take notes on what I'm grateful for in the day. So keeping track of those five things and making sure that I'm doing something for each thing is how I try to stay balanced. I'm gonna make a change for once in my life. Gonna feel real good, gonna make a difference, gonna make it right. Gonna make a change. Make that change. One of the great lessons of life is that nothing will change unless you change. It's not about circumstance. It's not about luck. We all get the good and the bad. We all get the challenging events that arrive in our life. That's a normal part of being human. If you want change, you must change. When you change, everything will change for you. If you want better, you must be better. And when you get better, your life will get better. You must work on yourself more than you work on anything else. You must add more value to others than anyone else does. Take a step back and look at your life closely. All things that take me further away from the life I want, out. Positive daily habits, locked in. 
working on myself daily, locked in. Reading more, learning more, committing to be better every day. Lock it in. I will receive better because I will be better. I will get change because I will change.